easier to get at with this old engine. But, so I'll just pull these back out and we'll ditch this. And so here I'll kind of flip it around, get a better shot of this. So uh, normally these guys would be here. Bam, bam, and uh, see this pan. one's vented here, so I think uh, uh, this goes into the emission system. I think it takes uh, like uh, unspent fuel and stuff like that that goes uh, through the valve cover and down these push rod holes. That's like an early check valve of some sort. What's that? An early check valve or something like the P. Sure, I don't. I don't know. It sounds cool. <laughs> yeah. So, but yeah, so these just come off. This guy, this is like the handiest tool ever. Uh, magnet on a steak. <laughs> uh, if you drop stuff in your engine bay, screws and bolts and stuff, miracle worker. I, I use it all the time. So, but I'm gonna use it right here to uh, pull out what's called the tappets. And uh, this is, those. these are what the, the push rods sit in. These right on top of the camshaft. So can you see in here? Yeah, a little bit. So there's there's four of them in each of these. Um, and if I stick my magnet deal in here, kind of get a hold of one, pull that guy out. So you can see, I think I think these are supposed to be slightly domed on the bottom, but um, later on when we get the camshaft out, you'll see that it's got a bunch of lobes around, or tear-shaped lobes that these sit on, and it, uh, it pushes on this, which then in turn pushes on the push rod, rocker arm, valve, stuff. <laughs> so, uh, yeah, let's go ahead and get all these out of here real quick. So, Marty, what do the tappets do? They ride, they ride off the lobes? They ride on the lobes of the uh, camshaft. Okay. So the camshaft's a big shaft with, with lobes on it, and that controls the, the timing of the, uh, the, the, Intake and exhaust okay. cycles, as, as well as of the valves, and as well as uh, how long those valves stay open. So the duration, like I think, usually in race cars and stuff, I think they have what's called a high duration camshaft. So it'll it holds those those valves open longer. Let's just some oil in here. Uh, back again. We flipped uh, flipped everything over. There was a a little bit of excess fluid still in the engine. Um, as you can see, we have to get the kitty litter out, but oh well. Um, <laughs> um, so next we were gonna we we're gonna take the sump off the car, so or off the engine. So it's flipped upside down now. And there's like a zillion screws, um, there are bolts holding this thing on. So we didn't really think you guys would be too excited about uh, watching that. <laughs> so I've kind of gone ahead and did that and I've got it loosened up and stuff so I'm just gonna lift off the, uh, the oil pan deal here. And do, 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 do. So you can see the bottom here I got a little bit of sludge stuff at the bottom but uh, not too bad. No. So. Um, Oh, that's that pretty guy, cool. So this is kind of neat. So, um, uh, so here we've got our, our oil pickup, and this goes down into the uh, uh, into the oil pump. That takes uh, this sucks up uh, uh, stuff uh, oil <laughs> from the uh, from the oil pan and pumps it throughout the engine and stuff. Uh, so this this engine right here, there's there's two different styles of. Uh, MGB 1800 series engines. There's the, I don't know what years they changed or anything, but there's a, there's a five main bearing and a three main bearing. This is a five main bearing, so we've got one, uh, let's see, here, 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 and here. These are the main bearings that are uh, fixed in place um, that uh, hold the camshaft in, or the, the crankshaft 
um, we can see it. Then here, these are the rod bearings. Um, these uh, uh, these connect the pistons to the crankshaft. So I don't. Can you kind of? I can get a light too if you want to angle in there. Sure. Can that help? Yeah. So you can kind of see the the bottom of the. Uh, uh, the piston there, and you can see the rod uh, uh, connected to it. It's pretty sweet. Pretty sweet. And so, and then right here, can you see over there? Yep. The camshaft? Yeah, you can see it. So you can see there's kind of glistening lobes on there. And you can see how it's spinning. So, how I said, um, those push on those, those tappets, which then push up, push on those push rods, valves, and stuff. So, um, Behind this cover, we've got a, a chain in here that, that tie the crankshaft and the camshaft, that guy down there, together, so there's a gear on each side. And uh, that controls all the uh, uh, timing of the various cycles of uh, the valves and stuff. So that is pretty sweet. Well, look at how clean it looks compared to the top of the pistons. And yeah. Yeah, looks like... I've got something in there. Something in there. It's uh must be gasket material or something. Something. Yeah, that's definitely not it doesn't it's like plasticky, it doesn't No. Oh. Hmm. But uh yeah. Uh let's see what else do we got going on. Um probably the next thing I'll do is uh uh, take this timing cover off and uh, this is the the water pump this pumps the the coolant through the engine and through the radiator and, and so on and let's see I guess uh, okay um, almost out of space on my camera so I'm gonna go real fast Josh is gone thanks Josh um, and uh, we'll take one quick look at the head um, I've undone the the, uh, the rocker arm assembly so this can just lift off now. There was just uh, uh, four studs here, 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 here that I pulled out, and then that thing just lifts off. Um, took off the top of the, the thermostat cover deal, and you can see here my thermostat was kind of exploded, so that's not working too swell. So I need a new thermostat. And uh, last thing, I've I've got this. Uh, uh, the oil pickup undone. There was just three bolts here, uh, two studs here, and this thing just lifts off. Uh, and then we've got our, our oil pump. So if I turn the engine, you can see that moving.